Hi, my name is Ashok. I'm from Phoenix Training Institute. We are providing free classroom training in Mumbai for uh, one entire month for CFA aspirants so that they themselves can decide if they wish to continue this certification. Please feel free to contact us for uh, further details. Thank you. Royce Safety First Ratio Safety First Ratio is equal to expected return of the portfolio minus uh, minus return of the threshold level divided by standard deviation of the portfolio so say for example expected return is nine percentage uh, return st uh, threshold level return is let's say three percentage and standard deviation of the portfolio is let's say 12 percentage so you will get the output as 0 0.5. What does this mean? Basically, uh, expected return minus return of the threshold level will give you the premium additional returns, you know, based on the uh, standard deviation. So in comparison to your threshold level, how do you decide the threshold level? That is dependent upon the client. Client can decide, you know, the threshold level as uh, the risk free rate or 0% uh, also he can decide as the threshold level basically he is giving a target that the return should be more than certain limit that limit might be zero also because he expects only positive return or that limit might be more than risk free rate or that limit might be anything that he expects over here more than three is what the client is expecting so the so three percentage is the threshold level so in comparison to client's uh, expectation, that is threshold level, how much extra the, the portfolio can give based on the risk that the portfolio is taking. So that means for each unit of risk over here, uh, this portfolio is giving 0.5 percentage extra return. Okay. Now, uh, standalone, how do I use this? No, instead of standalone, I should compare this with another portfolio and i should select the best one say for example the second portfolio is let's say you know 11 percentage is the expected return minus three percentage again the threshold level divided by let's say standard deviation is 20 percentage here so in this case you know the output will be 0 0.44 so that means for each unit of risk i am getting extra premium return of only uh, 0 0.44 uh, uh, percentage over here whereas in the first one portfolio a is giving me 0 0.5 portfolio b is giving me 0 0.44 so i will go with portfolio a so between these two so higher the number better it is sfr higher it is better okay so this way i can compare and i can go for the best one so this is the usage of uh, Roy's safety first ratio where I can compare the returns with the threshold level and and based on the risk that I'm taking and then I can select the best portfolio now it can be used in another way also what is that another way suppose if the question is what is the probability what is the probability that the and that the portfolio that the portfolio will give returns lower lower than the uh, threshold level so in this case lower than the threshold level so in this case three percentage right so lower than the threshold level if this is the question how i can handle this is uh, see just like how i did sfr sfr is equal to uh, standard deviation of the sorry, sfr is equal to expected return of the portfolio minus uh, threshold level divided by standard deviation of the portfolio similarly I will juxtapose this formula for Z score. So Z scores formula is X minus mu divided by uh, standard deviation. So that is equal to, I will put the same number, nine percentage minus mu is three percentage divided by 
uh, standard deviation is uh, you know 12 percentage i will get 0 0.5 but because the probability that the portfolio will give returns lower so i will use minus sign over here okay i will use minus sign that is the only difference so when i put minus sign i will get the z score is 0 0.5 now i'll go to the table z table and when I see here 0 0.5, I get 0 0.5, 0 comes to 30.85 percentage. So, if I put this in a graph, so if I say this is 0 0.5 minus uh, Z score will come 0. minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 so minus 0 0.5 will come somewhere here minus 0 0.5 so what is the probability that you know the portfolio lands up over here lower than the threshold level so 0 0.5 the probability comes to 30.85 percentage so here it is 30.85 percentage this is the probability that my portfolio will be lower than the threshold level which is three percentage okay now similarly if i calculate the uh, if i calculate the, the probability for the second portfolio which is you know uh, which is this one second portfolio 11 percentage minus three percentage divided by 20 percentage so z score for the second portfolio is equal to 11 percentage minus 3 percentage divided by 20 percentage and it was giving me 0 0.44 but i will put minus because my intention is to find out the lower side of the probability so here also when i draw the normal distribution this is 0 this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 0 0.44 will come somewhere here so this part so in this case in the second one the probability to go below the threshold level is uh, with the z score 0 0.44 0 0.44 will come to 33 percentage 33 so there are there is there is a 33 percentage chance that the portfolio will go below the threshold level whereas in this case there is 30 percent chance that the portfolio will go below the threshold level so it will so even if i see from probability perspective uh, i should be selecting portfolio a because it has lower probability to come below the threshold level 30.85 percentage okay so i can select your portfolio in this way also or directly i can go for higher sfr so in the uh, in the question you know cfa institute question we never know you know which way they will ask so we should be knowing both the sides we should know uh, uh, to select portfolio based on the S uh, sfr ratio directly and also based on the portfolio i mean based on the probability basis as well yeah thank you